Hi. So in this tutorial, I'm basically going to show you how to make simple custom objects in SM64 without needing ASM or anything really complicated. So to kind of show that, I'm going to use this and I'm going to make it move up and down just as an example. And basically what you're going to need for this is this, behaviorscripts.txt. It'll be in the description to download. You'll, you'll need it. Um, you'll need to know how to use a hex editor. Like, not really well, but you need to at least understand it. And so, yeah. So, if you want to make your object move up and down, what you need to do is get in the behavior scripts.txt and find the behavior that is moving up and down right here. See, it's about here. But if you just open it, it'll be at the very top. You can press Control F, search moving, and go down until you find it. But yeah, and so what we want to do is get this copy, go into the hex editor, search, go to, paste, and now we're at that behavior script. So once we're in, see this is the whole thing so we want to find the 2a comment which is 2a xx 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 so it's these four and you want to get the byte right after that which is this and then right down here it'll say 2nd 93c or just whatever it is for the behavior script you're doing so you want to copy this and go into the custom importer, I have the platform from SketchUp right here. So then you go to custom importer, go to whatever you want to import over. I'm going to do Castle in the Sky. Make sure you hit import collision. Go right here and then put in whatever it was. So it was 21D93C. So 21D93C. So then you would import it. And then we try it out. I already added the object in quad so that I wouldn't have to do it. Let's see where is it? Here it is. So let's go there. Make sure I get a file that can go to bottom battlefield. Just go there real fast. And the object should be solid, properly solid, and just move up and down. Unless we did something wrong. Alright. Come on. Press that 4. There you go. Okay, so it's up here. Moving up and down. Should be solid, which it is. And yeah. So that's how you would do that. But you may be thinking what if I wanted two different objects to move up and down? Because the way this works is basically the importer imports the like the ID for the collision right where we put that like this byte right here. It imports it right here. So this is the ID for that collision. But what if we wanted another object that moves up and down with different collision? What would we have to do for that? So basically what you could do, you could go in here and you could find another behavior script that you don't want to use like let's say this spindle behavior so you could go there in this case it's just right next to it so I don't even have to move it so it's right here and then it's actually the exact same size as this so we could just copy and paste right over it and then right there now we have two moving up and down behaviors so we can have two different objects for it so what you would do let's see where was that I already forgot it's right here okay so then you could do it right here let's go in okay so I should probably say that um if you wanted to put this over a different behavior because you wanted to use spindles you could just find anything in here as long as it's bigger than this it needs to be either bigger or the same size and if it is bigger you need to like let's say if I put 
all of this over this, you would have extra space down here. Just replace all the extra stuff with zeros. So, anyway, so let's get this 21D90C. Okay. So, custom border. Let's go to Rainbow Ride, Rainbow Path, Port Collision, and 21D90C. 21D90C. Let's import. Let's see if it worked. I already have the model, or I already have the object in there again. It's on start two. Right. No, not sixteen star. Huh? I guess that'll work. Actually, no, it won't work. I'm dumb. All right. Go to this one. Alright, now I need to go on down and start two. And it should be here. Or something. Unless if I did the wrong object. Oh, I think it's up there. So now we have two different ones. But you, you might not believe that it's actually different. So let me import it and make it like lava or something. So, collision make this lava and custom port over here what was it again it was two oh yeah import collision two one d zero nine c wait was it nine zero c i already forgot yeah it was nine zero c come on wait i was right i'm dumb okay now that should prove to you that it is actually different. And so you can do this with a bunch of different stuff. So I just use the same model, so it's like not that cool. But if I were to get a different model that's just like, let's say a flat face with just lava on it, then I can make like lava that moves up and down that'd be cool all right so now let's try it out okay so the first one here should just be normal yeah then up here oh whoops I missed because I'm bad so this one up here should be lava when I go on it and it is so yeah that's how you would make like two different stuff like that and you can do this with any behavior like let's say a wall that just breaks when you kick it or a wall that just like when you shoot a cannon at it it'll break like in Womp's Fortress you can do it with anything just look for stuff in here find something to replace it with also the behavior make sure when you replay like I replace the spindle behavior so I would use this as a behavior not this this so you would use the behavior for whatever you replaced and yeah you can do this with any of these all of these and it's pretty easy. You, of course, you're probably not going to understand all of it at first, but you will, and it, it's pretty easy. And if you have any trouble or you want to like talk to me personally, so I can help you, you can talk. You can just DM me on Discord or just talk in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching, and hope this helped you.